In this Photoshop tutorial, I will show you how to create some creepy black eyes. It's not a hard thing to do, but the result is really awesome. You can use the following steps to edit your self-portrait, then send it to your friends and let them ask you. Yo, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, this is Chris from iStalker, and if you are new to my channel, I mostly make Photoshop, Lightroom, and GoPro tutorials, so please consider subscribing and you will be notified every single time I release some new content. This is an image that I shot two years ago, before Halloween, and I wanted to edit it in a way that is a bit scary, so I edited my eyes to be black and made myself some vampire fangs, as you can see. At the end of this video, you will find the link for the Vampire Fangs tutorial, so make sure you check it out. So let's start from scratch. Just take a closer look of my eyes now. You can see that there's some light reflecting into my eyeballs, and it's very important to keep those parts visible in the final result, because those reflections will make the photo look real and creepy in the same time. So the first step is to create a new layer and call it black eyes. Then take the brush tool and reset the foreground and background colors by pressing D on the keyboard. This will set the foreground color to black and that is what you need. Set a flow of 70%, then right click on the image and make sure you have about 80% of hardness for the brush. Then hit escape on the keyboard to hide the panel. Now you'll have to fill in both eyes with black by going until the edges like I do now. And of course, instead of using the brush tool, you can create selections and fill them in with black, but for this tutorial, let's use the brush. You'll probably end up with a result like this one. It looks so unreal right now, but don't worry, this will be solved soon. Now you need to soften the edges of the black painted eyes. You need to blend them in better than now. Create a Levels Adjustment layer above the Black Eyes layer. Then take the midpoint here and move it to the right until your image becomes much darker. Click on the white mask here on the layer and press Ctrl-I to invert it to black. The Levels Adjustment layer is not visible now, but you will apply parts of it around the eyes by using the brush tool. So with the brush selected, make sure you are painting with white, set a flow of 50% and a hardness of 10%. Then start painting on the margins of the eyes to create a soft transition. Just to understand it better, you inverted the layer mask to black so the effect wasn't visible anymore and now you are painting with white to unveil just some areas here in the eyes. After you finish this task, you can switch the Levels layer on and off to see the difference. You can rename the layer to Transition. The next step is to recreate those reflections from the eyes. This is the coolest part and it's really simple to do. Create a layer and call it Reflections. Then select these three layers and group them by pressing Ctrl G or by going to Layer, Group Layers. Rename the group to Eyes and then deactivate it. Select the background image and then go to the Channels window. If you don't see it, then go to Window, Channels. Select the blue channel, then right click on it and choose Duplicate Channel. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, or press Ctrl L. Create some contrast between the reflections and the rest of the eye. You can do this by moving the middle point to the right and then grabbing the highlights point and moving it to the left. When you're satisfied with the result, just hit the OK. Then hold down Ctrl and click on this little thumbnail image on the blue layer copy. After you click on it, 
Photoshop is making now a selection of the bright areas in your photo. Make the RGB channel visible by clicking here on its name. This will also deactivate the blue layer copy in the channels window because we don't need it now. Now go back to the layers panel. Activate the eyes group you made before, open the group by clicking on the arrow here and then select the reflections layer. Choose the brush, make sure you are painting with white and then start uncovering the reflections from the eyes. If you accidentally painted in some areas you didn't want it, just simply apply a layer mask on this reflections layer and then cover the unwanted parts with black. You can close the eyes group and let's take a look at the image now. This is the before and this is the after. And again, before and after. Well, that looks creepy, especially when I know this is me here in the image. Anyways, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. I will show you how to create those vampire fangs.